Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. First a disclaimer that in this video we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. This recent paper shows that NMN reduces senescent cells in the lungs, whether they come from age or are stress induced. It's great to see another positive effect of taking NMN. The paper is nicotinamide mononucleotide ameliorates senescence in alveolar epithelial cells, which was published in May this year. First let me quickly summarize the paper. The authors show that NMN supplementation improves senescence, whether age or stress induced. They propose that the reason for the loss is related to NAD levels being lower and having the negative effects that we see on the left. And by taking NMN or NR, they boost NAD levels and we see the improvements in CERT1 activation, mitochondrial function, lower DNA damage, better antioxidation and reduced inflammation as on the right. Let's have a look at the results that they saw in more detail. Alveolar epithelial cells lose function as we age. And as a note, I don't know why they abbreviated alveolar epithelial cells as ACE instead of AEC. NAD also declines with age. Supplementing with NAD precursors activates sirtuins, which regulate the benefits of exercise and dietary restriction, reduce the level of oxidative stress and improve mitochondrial function, thereby reversing cell senescence. In this study, the authors showed that NMN could mitigate both age-associated physical decline in lungs and bleomycin-induced pulmonary fibrosis. They also looked at cells in vitro and saw improved cell senescence profile. The authors say that the findings to improve respiratory system function and to reduce incidence and mortality from respiratory disease in the elderly are of great significance. But first, what are alveoli epithelial cells? Alveoli are the sacs at the end of the air passages in the lungs and make up 99% of the surface area of the lungs. They are where the exchange of gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide occur. They also act as the gatekeepers to keep toxins from entering the body, so they are very important for the lung function. The epithelial cells are the thin layer of cells in the alveoli that the gases dissolve across, shown here in yellow. Senescence of these cells is the main reason for the decline of lung function in ageing. The first test was to see if NMN would help with age-induced senescence in mice. They gave the mice NMN either in drinking water or via gavage. The dose was 500 mg per kilogram per day. This is quite a large dose. Using the 12.3 conversion factor, this is 4.6 mg per kilogram for a human. So for me it's 64 kg, about 2.6 grams per day. They then looked at the expression of P16 and P21, both proteins related to cell cycle arrest, and compared young controls and old controls with aged mice with NMN. We can see in both the images of stained cells and the graphs that the expression of these proteins is significantly lower in the young mice and NMN groups than in the untreated controls, with the implication that NMN could be effective in improving aging lungs. Senescent cells can form from having reached the replicative limit, but also because of various forms of stress. So next they looked at cells in vitro. The top row shows cells stained for SA beta gal, a common marker of senescence, on the third passage and the seventh passage with and without NMN. We can see that the NMN reduced the levels of cells expressing SA beta gal. They also added an antibiotic, BLM, an anti-cancer drug which caused a larger proportion of the cells to become senescent through stress. In this case we can also see that the BLM plus NMN image has fewer cells expressing SA beta gal than that with only BLM. You can see this data graphically in the two graphs. They then tested whether the effects of alleviating senescence from stress also worked in vivo. For this they used BLM again which has a side effect of pulmonary fibrosis induced by genomic instability and ROS production. The dose of NMN was again 500 mg per kilogram per day, given via gavage. The weight of the lung was less, which implies less fibrosis. The expression of P16 and P21 cells 
arrest protein was reduced, implying that NMN also helped protect against stress-induced senescence. The author's conclusion is that long-term NMN administration could improve alveoli epithelial cells replication and stress-induced senescence, and hence that NMN supplementation might be a way to prevent and reduce aging-related and stress-induced lung diseases. Great to see another way in which NMN seems to have a positive impact on the body. Also, although this study specifically looked at S senescence in the lungs, it would seem to make sense that NMN might have a similar effect on senescent cells in other parts of the body too. I hope that you found the video informative. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.